My welder is a cheap, banged up old one that I bought at a yard sale. Now the arc I get off of it is not the smoothest and a friend said a big difference between cheap welders and better ones is the better ones have much better filter capacitors. So I bought some of these capacitors at a surplus store. These are 85 volts, 11,000 microfarads and I've got five of them in parallel here to test with my welder. To test this out I've got the plus side of my capacitors hooked up to my piece of metal and I'm just going to hold the negative on here while I try to weld it a little bit. Negative on here because it's negative supply on the electrode. I've been testing a bunch more and I can't really tell whether it makes a difference in the quality of the weld but with the capacitors on it seems to make much more of a deeper base sound when I'm welding. Now the capacitor ideally should not be at the very output. Man, that sure is dusty in there. Looking inside this welder, it's kind of interesting. Here's the uh, main transformer, and one side of it goes to here, to this junction, which also connects to the negative side of the capacitor, which is way back here. And I've added an extra lead to my capacitor bank. The other side of the uh, output winding is these two here, where is it? There's one and here's one. And these go up to here. And this is a half bridge rectifier. Looks like selenium rectifier plates, but there's actually three silicon diodes in here and these big plates are just a heat sink. Then the output from here, the output of the half bridge rectifier now goes down to the plus side of the capacitor. And I've run another lead to my capacitor bank. And from here, it also goes up to this here, which allows switching the polarity on the other side. And before it goes out to the leads, it goes through this thing here, which is the inductor. So there's an inductor between the capacitors and the electrode. And I had my capacitors actually hooked up after the inductor because I had it on the output. Whereas now I've got my capacitor bank in parallel with the main capacitor and before the inductor. So hopefully that'll work a little bit better. So I've been making a whole lot more test welds. I've gotten a little bit better at it just with more practice. Some of these are with the capacitor attached, some without. The problem is I really can't tell which is which, which is to say I can't really say that these capacitors make a noticeable difference. So without a clear improvement to the capacitor, there was no point in wiring these in permanently, so I just put it back to the way it was.